Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel. Okay, so listen. Today, this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. Please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. Okay? Pick up what does, leave the rest for someone else to appreciate. So... Listen, <clears throat> there's someone here that definitely feels like a fool. There was someone here who was trying to be like the serpent, okay? Like in your life, like in your in your world. <clears throat> this is someone here who wanted to like bite you and poison you in some way, okay? But whoever I'm speaking to, you have like a liege, a legion or an army of like angels that are definitely protecting you from this person or they have protect you from this snake or this person someone here feels like a fool okay i also feel like someone here is trying to find you to get close to you because they want to try to like bite you again or bite you in general i don't know there's someone that wants to get their get back or they want to they want to do something to you holy spirit what's going on you for whoever this message is for you already can feel this energy okay this is someone here who's big-headed they think they know everything okay someone here feels like they know everything but i feel like whoever this big-headed person is uh they're gonna look like a fool and they're about to lose something here for thinking they know everything okay holy spirit holy angels what is going on someone here thought they could outsmart you okay This is somebody here who won't commit. It says, hoes run like buses on the hour, every hour. <laughs> what? That's what this card says. Okay, so this person could be um, a hewer, okay? This is someone here that could be very big-headed, so very egotistical, um... They think their shit don't stink. This person feels like they could toy with you. This person feels like you're never going to walk away from them. Or maybe that's how they felt. We have carbon copy trying to be like you. So there's somebody here who's trying to be like you. That's connected to this person that is non-committal. Ew. Okay, so... If you walked away from this person who's big-headed, they might be telling everybody, like, some sort of fake sob story to make you look like the bad person for why you walked away. But I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you walked away from this person because they're, they're, they, they're non-committal. They're, you want commitment. They don't want the same thing as you. They don't want commitment, so you walked away. Okay. Who the hell is this person, though? This person's in regret. Someone here who wanted to copy you or be like you. This person has a lot of past life trauma that they need to heal. There's a lot of guilt that they have going on. Um, they have a lot of unresolved issues that they're refusing to basically heal and face. And this person could be trying to say you're the reason why they're in this emotional anguish. But really it's like they need to... They need to fix themselves. There's someone here who wanted to not be themselves so badly. They wanted to be you because they don't like who they are, but it's like you need to heal. They need to heal themselves. What do I hold commit? Yeah, okay, so listen, so whoever I'm speaking to, you stood up for what you felt like you des what you deserved when it came to this person here who just who doesn't want to commit. Okay, this could be someone who just wants to have like some sort of hookup situation. You stood up for yourself. You said, no, I deserve more than this. I'm not going to undervalue myself. I know my self-worth. This person is now upset. They could be calling um, other people making and telling them like, 
some false shit about you. Somebody here is weird. Somebody is weird, bro. Tell me more. Why we have big headed? This person wants you to be the bad guy in the story. This person is definitely watching you. They're trying to find out information on you. They're trying to figure out what you got going on. I'm also getting this big headed ass person who thought they knew everything. They were going around telling people like everything about your business. Or maybe that's what they're doing now. Okay. But at the same time, this person's looking at you like their wish fulfillment. They feel like you, <laughs> they feel like you're their wish come true. You give, they, when you were around this person, you gave them like happiness. You made them feel good. I don't know, but this is someone here who didn't want to commit to you. Okay. Who are the people involved in this situation? Who are the people involved? That's a lot. We have Shakira. So somebody here could be Colombian, don't have to be, or Latino. Okay, we have the devil. So somebody here could be um, a Capricorn, don't have to be, or they could have Capricorn somewhere in their chart. Or someone here was just obsessed, okay, with doing some sort of dark magic. We have magician in reverse. Yeah, so someone here was obsessed with doing some sort of dark magic here. This could be, um, what's it called, Santa... Maria, whatever it's called, Santa Merte, Bruja, someone was doing something maybe like that to you. Okay, we have YouTuber. You could be a YouTuber that someone was trying to do this to. Okay, um, or a YouTuber was trying to do this to you. We have Snoop Dogg in reverse. Okay, so someone here, uh, maybe someone here doesn't smoke weed. I don't know. Snoop Dogg in reverse. Maybe someone here thought they was a gangster and they're not. Tell me more. Someone here could be a nutritionist or someone here cares a lot about their body or their food or you could be someone who's caring about their food or you're dealing with someone here who has an eating disorder. They're obsessed about like what, what food they eat, how many calories they take or something. We have, um, or how many calories they eat. Sorry, we have L, uh, we have, I was about to say LAX for some reason. We have Little Nas X. Okay, so something here about an airplane ride, I don't know. Um, or someone has to take a flight, but Little Nas X here. Okay, so someone here, someone here did not want you to come, someone didn't want you to uh, come back with a vengeance here. Someone didn't think you were going to get back up from something that they tried to do to you when it came to some sort of dark magic here. I also feel like um, someone here could be gay. I don't know. Okay. Someone here could be vegan. You could be a YouTuber that like... Um, does food content that's for some of you not all y'all or you're a youtuber that does something different i don't know someone here could work out a lot someone here could have big ass muscles someone here could go to the gym someone was trying to instruct someone on how to do something here Try to do something to your food, possibly. We got Uber driver. Someone here could be an Uber driver. Someone here was numb. Or someone was trying to numb you. Or someone here was trying to give you something to numb you. There could be a nurse that's involved in this situation. You could be a nurse. An, anesthe an anesthesiologist could be involved in this situation. Don't have to be. You could be a YouTuber that's a nurse or an anesthesiologist. Okay, or something here. Someone here was, these are the people that could be involved in this situation. Someone here could be a Jerub dealer. Okay, someone here could be a dancer or a singer or something like that. Ay, 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 ay. Tell me more, Spirit. What the hell is going on? We, we have sibling rivalry. My table just shook when that card came out. So it's like this sibling rivalry is like, why do I feel like it's like from a long time ago, like some sort of beef, like this sibling rivalry is not even from this lifetime. It's from another lifetime. Like someone has 
this deep-seated hate and competitiveness towards you and they may not even know why they have it it's probably because it stems from some sort of past life situation like that's what i feel like is going on okay or someone here this doesn't have to be your sibling you may not have siblings this could be just somebody here who has who's definitely having some sort of animosity towards you and they want to compete with you in some way this is someone here who thinks they know everything that wants to compete with you this could be the same person that's copying you okay or this is someone here who's copying you that wants to win the heart over some person who's non-committal maybe you don't even want this non-committal person flip it where it needs to go this story can go many ways we have yo-yo dieting yeah someone here is like something about their diet someone's focusing on their diet what they're eating this could be you child i don't know flip it where it needs to go but it says yo-yo dieting it says too many fads and not enough routine Maybe someone's trying to compete on weight. Like maybe someone's trying to like lose weight faster than you or something weird or gain weight faster than you or we have a know-it-all. It says can't even take their own advice but loves to dish it out. Someone here thinks that they smart but they're not that smart. This could be like a sibling of yours that, that is bulimic. Don't have to be though, child. Or they starve themselves. What is it called? Anorexic. They could be anorexic. Why do we? Why do we have um, sibling rivalry? A union of opposites. So you and this other person who's trying to compete with you, you guys are complete opposites. Okay. You have a guardian angel that's definitely making sure things are in balance, okay? Dang him. We have four of coins. So there's somebody here who's in competition with you or has some sort of form of animosity towards you because they're, they are in a lack mindset. They, they're in some sort of scarcity mindset. They feel like things being in balance for you is causing them to have some sort of lack, okay? This is someone here who's real greedy. They could be a hoarder, okay? this could be someone who you could clarify or say that they're a fucking tightwad jesus ay yeah yeah something about the summer this could be a summer baby you could be a summer baby it says a few weeks let go of control celebrate life have fun summer someone doesn't like that you out here having fun or someone here knows that you're going to be receiving something during the summer and they don't want you to have it i'm also getting someone here could be doing like a real radical diet in order to get to look good during the summer or something but it's like be careful don't go wild with it we have flashy superficially attractive and showing off in bad taste okay so i don't know someone here could be flashy maybe someone's going around saying that you're flashy or someone here wants to be flashy or they want to outdress you like someone here's trying to copy you but then one up you at the same time someone here can be very condescending they can patronize others they could have a superiority complex here okay come on now okay this is the person that wants to rival against you so you have like a know-it-all wanting to rival against you this person could be self-medicating themselves with to deal with some sort of pain through drugs and alcohol someone's a hot mess or this could be this person that doesn't want to commit to nobody i don't know paying for favors it says i scratch your back you scratch mine the fuck so someone here is gonna get exposed for bribing people someone here has unhealthy boundaries they have no limits to something they're super needy okay i don't know child <sighs> Why do we have yo-yo dieting? Someone here's a bully. This could be someone who's a religious leader or someone who's religious in some way. This could be someone who's in some sort of marriage. months find your inner truth 
catalyst for change transformation cosmic trigger beginning so you're gonna have some sort of new beginning someone feels like you being in your new be beginning or you having some sort of big changes in your life someone feels like you someone's gonna say that you're being flashy or superficial or something what what the fuck is happening someone is weird basically what i feel like is going on is someone here feels trapped in their own trap someone here who someone here feels negative they're they're in some sort of this is a drama queen that's in a crisis and now they're going around trying to tell everyone that something is your fault but they're the actual bully this person has a lot of toxic traits they have a weird relationship with food they have a weird relationship with drugs and alcohol this person is a big-headed motherfucker they can't admit faults um this is someone here that you could have eclipsed out of your life and this is another reason why some something beautiful is coming into you or coming into your life um let me see yeah someone here feels deeply hurt okay they could be in um sorrow depression heartache okay they could be crying this could be someone here who's self-medicating because you love them because you know you didn't want to be someone's option okay this is weird someone here is paying for favors it says i scratch your back you scratch mine hierophant so this is like someone here could be trying to bribe some sort of institution some sort of religious leader some sort of something they're trying to trying to bribe someone to rule something in a different favor or trying to get someone to look the other way into when it comes to something being right or something being wrong someone could be trying to study magic what is this no women super needy this could be a king of wands that has unhealthy boundaries they could be super clingy they have no limits to what they would do child what the fuck is this so there's somebody here that that portrays to everybody like they don't want commitment and they're this like this hot shit but it's like deep down in the core this person is codependent and needy like they act like they don't want to commit to anyone but they also don't want to be alone this person could be going around telling people a bunch of lies about you okay this person knows that you deserve better than them. They do. They know this. But at the same time, in order for them to feel better and to soothe their ego, they're going around telling people like, oh, the only reason so-and-so has this and this is because uh, they're superficial or they did something. I don't know. Some dumb shit. I don't know. This is annoying, though. Someone here is going to try to charm someone's pants off or something. Or someone's trying to do something creatively. This is annoying. Page of Wands. Okay. Someone's going to try to come in with some sort of playful energy. This person might want to come in and try to like tell you or tell you they want to be loyal to you. But I don't like the vibe. There's a lot of pages coming out. Someone here could have a lot of kids or someone here is childish. They want to appear like they're the king of wands. Someone who's like a go-getter. Someone here who's a leader. Someone here who's courageous and brave. But really this person is in page energy. They, they have a young mind. Okay. This person wants to come in and act like they want to invest in you, but I feel like you've already created, you've already put some sort of judgment here on, some sort of judgment on this person. You've already eclipsed them out. There's also some sort of invisible force that's stopping this person from coming towards you because your emperor is on the way. Yeah, emperor, empress. I'm annoyed. I'm over it. This is the end of your reading. <laughs> I'm done. Oh my lord. Really? 
So there's someone here that's was trying to compete with you. This doesn't have to be a sibling. This could be the same fucking person that you don't want to be with. This person has unhealed wounds. They're trying to make everything be your fault. Um, this is a player that needs to heal. And they thought they were going to destroy your self-esteem in some way by maybe dating someone that looks just like you or trying to compete with you in some way. I don't know. But whatever it is, I don't think it worked. Also, like I was saying before, someone wants to bite you. They want to poison you in some way. They want to put their fangs in you. Um, it's like somebody here wants to, like, like I said, come in. They want to charm you or they want to get you under some sort of, like, control again maybe they felt like they had some sort of level of control over you or maybe that's what they thought they had with some sort of level of control someone here might want to come in and like love bomb you tell you all the things that you want to hear or someone here could be doing some sort of love spell on you paying someone to do some love spell on you someone needs your energy you walking away made this person lose a lot the hell is going on holy spirit holy angels what's happening this is gonna resonate for somebody we have mind games this person plays nothing but mind games and they're trying to come back in this person's gonna come in and try to uh gaslight you or they're just gonna try to use some sort of scare tactics to try to make you feel like oh this is your last opportunity <laughs> okay this could be um, um this is someone here who's in this toxic mask and mask and i can't even talk i'm to <laughs> toxic mask and lality i can't even i'm just gonna shut up <sighs> that's what this person is like okay meeting manly expectations this person has a lot of pride this person wants to be a power couple with you. Or you guys have the... I don't know. I don't like the... When I see this power couple here, I feel like this is separate from this energy. Like, tell me more. Yeah, this person wants to come in. They want to love bomb you. All right. It says overly act overly attentive, showered with affection for personal gain. So someone wants to come in... They might even want you to go out to a party with them. Or this is someone that you know to be someone who is a partier. This could be someone who's who always uses drugs or alcohol, okay? Well, this person's addicted to sex or something here, okay? Or this person just loves always... Um, they always have to be indulging in some sort of pleasure, okay? We have the cleanse. It says detox, purify, okay? Getting rid of negative energy when it comes to this person. You could have cleansed your energy from this person, in order for you to attract this power couple situation someone knows that you're destined to have something like this this other this other toxic masculine they they know they know it's a no basically when it comes to you too so gross bro we have spark it says instant click soul recognition unexplainable pull this is a karmic we have the struggle it says rough patch frustrating situation trying times so this toxic masculine is experiencing some sort of struggle period they feel like a fool they thought they had you wrapped around their finger or they thought i don't know what they thought child they thought they had some sort of level of control over you that they didn't and now they lost something they could have lost your energy and that's why they're all down in the dumps tell me more they didn't expect you to cleanse your energy from them someone also doesn't like that you're in a good mood every day Okay, we have numbing. This person could be numbing, self-medicating. They could be drinking away their problems or distracting themselves with substances. Or this is what this person wants you to be in this energy. They could want you to be in this energy. Okay, we have inner light. It says soul searching, finding true self, living consciously. Okay, so you could have looked within and you realize this person is a no-go. We have spiritual narcissists. So this person could also be very spiritual. I don't know, child. Or someone's using spirituality in order to hurt you in some way. It says spiritual, egotistic, superiority, complex, spiritual manipulation. So somebody here is overdoing their control in some way. They could be throwing shade. It says criticizing, disrespect, judgmental. So this is what this person could be. 
okay? Or this is what this person's saying you are. Flip it where it needs to go. Someone here could be getting something repoed, something repossessed, okay? They could be losing a vehicle or losing something here, losing a home. I don't know. We have self-doubt, questioning, worth, feeling, undesirable, self-lack. Somebody wanted you to feel undesirable. They wanted you to question your own self-worth. That was this person's goal. That was the type of poison someone was trying to um, give you, basically. But whoever I'm speaking to, you, that happened to them. It didn't happen to you. It happened to them. You could have peeped game and then you're like, I got to go. We have graduation day. And when you walked away, you, you passed some sort of test here. We have graduation day. It says leveling up, lesson learned. You acquired the much needed wisdom that you needed when it comes to this dynamic here, okay? It says sliding through. It says phone calls, text messages, emails, DMs. So someone here might want to reach out to you, child. I'm so grossed out. We have bounce back. It says perseverance, overcoming obstacles, making a comeback, okay? So going back to that little Nas X. You're making some sort of comeback or this person wants to make a comeback back into your life. What's up with the power couples? Or what's up with the power couples here? Someone's looking at you like a lucky opportunity. This person's looking at you like a like an opportunity. There's somebody here that feels like you're you're gonna be um, someone safe to be with. There's someone here that they could um, be financially secure with. Okay. This person, though, is in poverty, or this person is in lack, or this person wants you to get in these energies, or this person is coming in to try to destroy your, your foundation, trying to destroy your stability, or something like that, okay? So just be aware of this, whoever this toxin, this toxic masculine is. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who is this toxic masculine? This is someone here who admires you. This toxic masculine is someone here who admires you. Tell me more. This is a new connection for some of you. Or this person doesn't want you to be in a new connection. This person could be a Virgo. Or you could be a Virgo. Someone's a Virgo. Okay. This is a false flame that admires you. That is toxic as hell. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a dragon. Note the date. This person could be a soulmate of yours or a karmic soulmate or something like that. We have Leo. Someone here could be a Leo or they could have Leo somewhere in their chart. Yeah, this person wants to come in. Mm -mm. This person's karmic. Whoever this person is, they're karmic. They want to come in. They want to offer you something. It could be money. It could be a commitment. It could be something. Someone wants to give you something that you already, they already know that you've already said you wanted. It's for them to gain something, okay? Whatever this is. So just be careful about when this person comes in. You need to remember, you've already learned some sort of lesson from this person. This is definitely someone from your past that plays a lot of mind games. This person could have been trying to copy you or trying to get, trying to make someone else be like you or something. Someone thought they could replace you or something weird. This is someone here that cannot be trusted, whoever this is, child. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? What's going on? Actually, before I use this, what traits does this person have? We have uncoordinated, so this person could get sloppy drunk all the time. Okay, or this is someone here who, whose life doesn't have a routine. They could be all over the place. This person could be very impulsive when it comes to like, what they do on a day-to-day -day basis or something here. Tell me more. Or they have a lack of direction. Okay, we have receding hairline. Someone here could have a receding hairline. Tell me more, spirit. This person could be ticklish or you could be ticklish. Flip a word needs to go. Or this person likes to torture people. Tell me more. What's the traits of this person? We have identical twin child someone here was definitely trying to copy you 
this is someone here whose life doesn't have a direction or they're lost okay we have heartbroken someone here could be heartbroken what the fuck this is a backstabber someone that backstabs you is heartbroken because they couldn't backstab you maybe i don't know what the hell is going on this person is real cocky whoever this person is they're very cocky they could be very impatient we got famous someone here could be famous or this is someone here that always wants some sort of attention they always want the eyes on them or something here they want to be in the spotlight we have hot someone here could be cocky and hot or you are i don't know put it where it needs to go we have lactose intolerant someone here could be lactose intolerant tell me more spirit we have vegan someone here could be vegan someone here could be athletic athletic or someone here goes to the gym or they have a nice body someone here is jealous of you <sighs> they want to come in they want to love bomb you just be aware of it they want to finish the job or something this is real creepy somebody wants you to open the door up to them again you, whoever i'm speaking to you've cleansed the energy of them like you've already blocked them off energetically they want to come back tell me more turn around <laughs> let me stop we have smudge or smoke your environment with cleansing herbs this is what you're being asked to do at this time okay what else what else do they need to hear we have archangel gabriel it says communication visions downloads revelations messages and dreams pay attention to your dreams pay attention to your your intuitive knowledge that you're going to be receiving be about this person okay it's to protect you you're being asked to take spiritual baths regularly at this time because someone is really playing in their energy tell me more spirit we have adam and eve it says light for calling love back favor and love and attraction maybe someone's trying to affect your love life in some way okay we have archangel michael it says deliverance from evil protection from harm balance justice victory clarity and truth okay archangel michael is definitely protecting you from this person yeah it says utilize cord cutting rituals meditations or mantras Jeez, louise someone does not want to let you go okay it says ask your ancestors spirit guides for advice or permission to whoop that ass child we have to seek to cleanse the energy at your workplace discreetly Those are some suggestions for y'all. That is wild. What else do we need to hear when it comes to this weirdo? So you got a twin flame and then you got a false flame that's coming towards you. I feel like this is the false flame reading of <laughs> this toxic karmic. Uh, someone just wants to use you for their own personal gain and someone else actually loves you okay holy spirit holy angels what is going on what else do they need to hear yeah someone's in some sort of massive regrets because they let you go okay or they fumbled you or they know they didn't treat you right they didn't express how they felt it says left you hanging no closure no contact it says left on red someone wants to make contact with you we have round and round cycles triggers lessons rejected someone's upset because either they rejected you or they're upset because they know how they left you hanging and they know if they come back you're probably going to reject them okay this is someone here you were in a karmic cycle with this person is now ashamed they feel guilt they feel embarrassed they feel like they're in the wrong and they should that's how you learn lessons is by making mistakes and learning from them that the feeling of feeling like shit because of something that you did that was wrong 
is is good it helps you grow that's what growth feels like we have secluded it says separation reflecting soul searching so you now you got this person here who's now going within you you you're helping someone heal or helping someone learn the truth Ooh, someone wishes they can take back some sort of wish that they made upon you because <laughs> it's backfiring child that's sad yeah someone here now could be losing sleep they could be worried about this situation they could be worried about some sort of wish some bad wish they wished upon you because they know it's coming back okay they could re be replaying the words or how things happened i don't know when it came to you then we have spiritual gifts someone here could have spiritual gifts okay maybe somebody wished that you wouldn't have spiritual gifts anymore i don't know what it is someone here something's someone's not working out for this person what's going on someone here was really trying to compete with you we have listen more carefully then you will know okay and then we have Gemini. So yeah, you're going to be receiving some sort of download here soon. Some sort of, if you're someone here who has spiritual gifts, quiet your mind and be prepared to receive a message. Okay. And listen to it carefully. We have Taurus. Someone here could be a Taurus. Someone here could be Gemini. Okay. That's wild. What's going on, spirit? What do they need to hear? Well, before I get to hear. What else do we need to know about this person coming in, being weird? It says, this person actually has feelings for you. So you have a karmic false flame, karmic soul tie, whatever this person is. They were competing with you. They admire you. And they have feelings for you. But they hate you. So... I don't know. We have this person goes extra hard to discredit you, tarnish your character, and convince others to question your motives. Ciao. Because you know your value because you walked away. It says they copy everything you do because they have no idea who they are. So someone just keeps copying you because they don't know who they are. They don't have a direction in life, okay? They don't know what their their life purpose is. They don't, they don't know who they are. They really don't. We have, this person probably even tried to... This person even adopted your personality to the point where they think they are you. We have this hater is always boasting about themselves. Hashtag conceited. So this person is very cocky, very conceited. It says this person loves you. Or wait. Yeah. This person loves you to talk about them because it brings them clout. So somebody loves attention no matter what, no matter where it comes from. Someone loves it. We have this hater mocks you behind your back to other people. So this person was talking a lot of shit about you. Okay, behind your back. Or they still are. Shit, I don't know. We have this person is one of your friends right now. So this person could be your friend. That's conceited. This person. Maybe this is someone you friend zoned. You rejected them. Maybe you said, oh, we could just be friends. This person is mad. <laughs> This person got rejected and they, I don't know, they went a whole nother direction. It says when it starts getting chaotic for them, they will disappear. So I don't know what that's about. Tell me more, spirit. We have this hater talks mad lies about you so that people won't like you. So this person's going around spreading lies and rumors about you because you rejected them and you decided to... You basically stood up for yourself and said, I don't deserve to be treated like a fucking sex object or something here Ooh, you need to cut cords you need to cut cords from this person who is this person can we get some zodiac signs i really need to cut cords someone who has the chinese zodiac sign of a pig needs to cut cords or you need to cut cords from this person this could be a friend an acquaintance or a co-worker that you need to cut cords from damn this person could be a feminine energy that you need to cut cords from, or I'm speaking to a feminine energy, flip it where it needs to go. Okay, we have cancer. Someone here could be a cancer that you need to cut cords from, or you're a cancer. We have Aries. You need to cut cords from an Aries, or you are an Aries. Okay, we have soulmate. There's somebody here that you thought was a soulmate, so a friend, a family member, or an ex. 
This could be a masculine energy. So we have masculine and feminine energy out here that you need to cut cords from. Someone wants to come in and try to offer you something. They're trying to love bomb you. You need to cut cords from this person. This person's a fucking liar. They're fucking weird and they're a liar. Tell me more, spirit. What the fuck is going on? What else do you need to hear? Someone's an Uber driver. <laughs> Someone's an Uber driver that you need to cut cords from. What was that? What was that other one? Tale as old as time, tune as old as song, bittersweet and strange, finding you can change, learning you were wrong. Someone's realizing they were wrong about you. But it's a little too late. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. Yeah, someone judged you harshly or they misjudged you. Someone here could be a Christian or some sort of religion here. Maybe that's why it changed their perception when it came to you. Someone here could be in a karmic relationship or this person and you were in a karmic relationship, okay? Or when this person comes towards you to try to love bomb you, they're just know that they're still in a karmic relationship. We have someone who's blaming an STD on you again. What in the hell? Tell me more, spirit. You're being asked to protect your energy at this time. <laughs> we have 1244. You might need to look up this number. It says, message from your angels that you need to see yourself in a higher light as your true self. And your angels are helping to boost your self-esteem and your self-beliefs. It says, stay balanced and stay grounded and stay focused. Someone here is about to get exposed. Someone's getting exposed for an STD. Whoever was trying to blame you, they're getting exposed. We have bad business deals. Someone here made some sort of bad business deal, bad business deal here. They thought they could break through your protection okay this could be someone who's religious or something they can't do this though because you're in your north node you're in your life purpose god is protecting you Ooh, somebody here could be getting exposed for being attracted to minors child we gotta ask for a badge ew we have okay so someone here is trying to act like they have some sort of level of authority when they don't Someone here could have falsely accused you of something, for sure. And now they're being exposed for being a liar. Tell me more. Like, someone feels like they're in charge of something. Like, someone here is going to get arrested. Someone thinks that they're in charge. Or someone here is trying to get you arrested under some false accusations because they're being exposed for lying about you being you having an std or you spreading an std it says someone you know will be on the news for doing something bad so someone here is going to be on the news for maybe being involved with a minor this person cannot keep it in the pants okay holy spirit holy angels tell me more oh my god who are you guys dealing with we got a staged accident or death okay so that's going to be exposed this person was gossiping about you Okay, or a lot of people are, are gossiping about this stage accident or death being exposed. Yeah, we said we have, brr, we have, wow, the fuckery is real. Something here is going to happen in the next 24 to 48 hours. You might see something. Yeah, you might hear about something. We have Regina Spector, Samson. Someone's name could be Sam. It says, song is about someone dying of cancer. Someone, Someone's health could be declining at this time. All right, because something here is backfiring. We have bum. It says no job, no motivation, a loser, lack mindset. So someone here has a lack mindset. They're a bum ass. And they took some sort of bribe here in order to go against you. You could be someone who's an old soul. Someone here was trying to say something was your fault. Someone was trying to pin you for something that's not your fault. You didn't do something here. Tell me more, spirit. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, you need to cut cords, please from someone okay someone here's once again they could be self-deleting or the fact that you cut cords from someone they might want to self-delete you were like literally supplying someone with like everything <laughs> with everything or something i don't know someone here could be losing hope without your energy we have side chick there could be a side chick that's involved in this situation or a side chick made a business deal with somebody a bad business deal it says i'm already in a relationship okay we have karmic male so there's a karmic male like i said is going to come towards you they're already in a relationship they have a side chick or a side person we have moving or relocating so someone here is trying to move or relocate because they know they're going to get caught up for something here 
for trying to hack into your accounts or trying to do something over the internet that was illegal. Someone was trying to do something. They got caught. The feds already know. Someone already knows. It says hiding a death in the family. Someone here could have been hiding a death in the family. Tell me more, spirit. That could be getting exposed. Someone here definitely has a sex entity on them. This could be a succubus or an incubus. Okay. We have tracking device on your phone. Someone here could be could have put a tracking device on your phone. This could have been this karmic mail. Someone here was trying to plan some sort of violent crime against you because you walked away or because you moved or you relocated. Okay, we have life-threatening illness. Someone now has a life-threatening illness. And this is linked to some sort of STD. Something about the month of July is of significance. You guys could be dealing with a cancer or you guys could be dealing with a Leo. We have won your case. So whoever I'm speaking to, you won some sort of case here. Okay, someone here could have a warrant for their arrest when it comes to manslaughter. Okay, or something, child. Someone was trying to get you convicted of manslaughter. Someone here really wanted to be in your shoes, child. But this person does not have a royal bloodline. Tell me more, spirit. Someone wanted to have a royal bloodline. They wanted to take it from you. We have petty. This is a very petty person that was trying to do something to you. This could be a roommate of yours. Does petty as hell. Mm. Stay away from this person. Come on now. Something about the next holidays of significance. I don't know what that would be. We're in March. Is that Memorial Day or something? This, this is someone here who has no empathy for you. Or for anyone, to be exact. Okay, someone here could be from North Carolina. Someone is weird. Yeah, someone's upset because you outsmarted some sort of petty tactic. Your sister could be involved in something. Maybe your sister was saying that you have an STD or you gave someone an STD or your sister wants to be in your shoes. Okay, someone here was definitely trying to steal something from you. It says songs remind me of you. Someone here keeps hearing songs that remind them of you. This person wants to come in and say that they love you or they want to come in and love you now. Child, please. Listen, you need to know that you're lovable and you're deserving of love, but not this type of toxic love, okay? Tell me more, spirit. Yeah, someone here has a fake friend around them. Okay. Yeah, you're not confused. You're abused. Someone wants to come in and confuse you. There's something here about a child that's not someone's. Someone hiding a pregnancy. Something here about a witch doctor. This is a lot of dumb stuff tell me more what else they need to hear some about food someone somebody here someone here could be a picky eater Or someone here has to heal some sort of trauma or something that they experienced when they were young when it comes to food. Okay, maybe they would get yelled at for not finishing food or eating food or they were forced to eat food that they didn't want to eat. I don't know what's going on, Joe. Or maybe someone feels like since your your plate is still full that you have you can afford for them to get some food off your plate. I don't know, some shit. Yeah, someone here doesn't doesn't want to share something with you or they don't want to share. Someone doesn't think you deserve something. Or someone feels like what you have, you should share it with them. I don't know. This is annoying. I'm annoyed already. <laughs> I'm annoyed. Like somebody fucked up their shit situation and they feel like you're responsible or you you're they're entitled to your shit. Or something or they feel like you are supposed to you're obligated to help them or something what the hell but this is something that someone got they they did something to themselves someone here could have broke their car there's something about cars not working anymore or or something child see how that car has no tires on it maybe someone got a flat tire or someone can't afford new tires i don't know there's a lot of fighting going on um Someone here wants you to think about the good memories that you had with them. 
Or someone wants to come in and flirt with you, but it's like weird. Listen, this can be family business, friend. I don't know. Flip it where it needs to go. But someone, this is someone here who's bullying you or teasing you or trying to hold something over your head. Or this is what someone's going to try to do. They might try to come in and blackmail you or try to like make you do something. I don't even know if this person's going to even do what they say they're going to do. This is someone here who has empty promises. Someone here is upset because they got caught and they're experiencing karma. Okay. And you're chosen. And they don't like this. I'm annoyed. This is annoying. Tell me more. What else do we need to hear? Yeah, someone here is a miser. And someone else is upset because everything you touch turns to gold. Alright? They feel like something about this is unfair. But whoever I'm speaking to, you're someone here who, who had to learn to be self-reliant and independent. Okay? You learned how to conquer fear. In order to survive, that's literally what this card says. All right. Somebody is hoping that you will delight in sharing your life riches with them. But the thing is, like, this person is a hoarder. Like, this is someone who's not going to be grateful for something you give them. Or this is someone here who harvests energy off you. I don't know. Something like that. Okay. We have a companion. This could be a friend. Somebody. Someone here that you thought was loyal. Or this person wants to come in and show their loyalty to you. But this is someone here who betrayed you by um, misusing your trust, basically. That is gross. This is someone here who refuses to grow up. This is someone here who is childish. They have a young mind. They're in a page energy. This is someone here who's going to come towards you and try to beg. They're dependent on you. This is a de this is a codependent person. Okay? I'm also getting somebody wanted you to be a beggar. They wanted you to need them or something. But that's not the way it's going. Someone wanted you to be their slave. This is weird. I'm going to end it. Look at it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what the heck? Actually, let's see what the heck is going on here. What does this person got to say to them? This weird karmic lover. I said, sometimes I don't know why. No, wait. It said, sometimes I don't know what to say, so I come off as mean. So this person is mean to you. <laughs> Whoever this person is, this person is mean to you. We have, I want you bad. So somebody is desperately wanting you. And then we have, you make me weak to my knees. So this person is feeling weak to their knees or the karma they're experiencing is putting them to their knees because whatever they were supposed to do, they weren't supposed to do. Yeah, this person's addicted to your sexual energy. So this is someone here that you could have had sex with. Okay. We have some, it says something was always in the way. So someone feels like something was always in the way of y'all being together. And then someone wants to say that you were just a sexual situation, or maybe that's how they wanted you to feel. And at the bottom of the deck, it says, I've always loved you. This is what this person wants to come in and say. I don't think this is like, this person's, this person's abusive. It's like one second they love you. The next second they want you to feel like you're worth nothing. I don't, I don't like the vibe. Okay. It says, honor your beauty. You deserve more than whatever this is. It says, thank you for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. Somebody here wants you to feel real bad about yourself. Like, this is someone here who really, in their mind, thought you were out of their league. So, in their mind, they thought, well, if I, bri if I destroy this person's self-esteem, then they'll feel worthy enough to be with me or something like someone so, i don't know something weird uh, we have balance it says thank you angels for bringing my life into balance okay so yeah you're going to be receiving some sort of justice when it comes to somebody here trying to make you feel gross or unwanted or undeserving of love here it says honor your feelings it says thank you hanyel i think that's how you say it, it says for supporting me as i honor my emotions 
Okay, so you're being asked to honor your emotions at this time. You also have a loved one in heaven that is watching over you when it comes to this situation. It says, thank you, loved ones in heaven, for drawing close at this time. Yeah, they're definitely protecting you from someone who's a no-no. What else do they need to hear, Spirit? Should I do the shells? Let me do the shells. Someone's first model or last name could start with a B, a K, B, K, <laughs> let me stop, an F, an R, a V, an O, another O, okay, a D, an L, a P, an H, an F, an N, a Z, a J, an A, an E, an S, a D, a B again, and an S again. Jesus. <laughs> and an S again. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> B, K. Someone's name could be Robert. We got Rob out here. Someone's name could be Rob or Robbie. Someone's name could be Robin. Or Ruben. Someone's name could be Jordan. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, someone's name could be Jordan. Someone's name could be Doris. Or Dora. Someone here could drive a Ford. A Ford pickup truck. Ooh. Yeah. Someone's name could be Lori. Lori Ann. Lorraine. Uh. Someone's name could be Pat. Someone's name could be Paul. Someone's name could be Larry. Someone's name could be Jared. Harold. Ron. Ronald. Something about someone's son. Someone here could have hit a son from you or something about someone's son. Okay. About a horse someone here can own a horse or someone wants to come in like the knight in shining armor on a horse someone might want to come in and ask if you want to eat a lope with them something's on a slope or on a down downhill situation someone here can skate Someone might want to meet you at a park. I don't know, we got a park out here. Or someone here could be parking outside your house. 
someone's waiting for you to be alone we got the word alone or someone's trying to find a way to be alone with you someone here could be in arkansas or someone doesn't want to be alone that's why they're coming towards you to do this like someone needs to sit with their own thoughts okay we got the word bark someone here could have a dog We got hope. Someone's still holding on to hope that they could come in and do something to you. Or you need to hold on to hope. Okay. Someone's name could be Pedro. Someone here could be from San Francisco. Something here is false. Or someone's getting like a false test result or something. We got the word false out here. Or someone's realizing something was false. Or someone wants to come in and give you false hope. Okay. Someone here could be a DJ. Someone's name could be BJ. Someone's name could be RJ. Someone here could drive a van. Those always really come out a lot. Someone's name is Brody or Brad, Bradley. Did I say Gerald already? Someone's Val someone's name is Valerie. Someone's name could be Ben or Benjamin. Someone's name is Sean or Sheen. I'm gonna end it. Okay. What else? Someone wants to come in and beg for something, okay? beg to be back in your life or this person wanted you to come in and beg towards them holy spirit holy angels what is going on we have trust yourself more know that you are in the right place at the right time opportunities will present themselves to you when they are meant to all in divine timing get excited about the future again instead of fearing it something beautiful is coming towards you okay remain hopeful all right no matter what these person is trying to do, you're protected. It says, don't allow negative emotions to fester. If you're feeling frustrated, angry, or hurt, for example, just acknowledge that. Instead of fighting your feelings, go with them and work with them. Then, true healing can really begin. So if you're feeling angry and all this jazz, acknowledge it, accept it, let the energy or the emotion process through you. You'll be fine. Some more we have be true to yourself in all ways not everyone will get you they can only understand from their level of perception and that's on them no matter what people say don't ever doubt your worth or the beauty you hold within stand tall in your freaking power okay because these motherfuckers is telling a lot of lies i'm also getting you're about to find out who the fuck was saying what and what was being said let me see what's going on what else they need to hear we have think positive. It says, be mindful of your thoughts for they shape your reality. Choose positive affirmations and banish self-doubt from your mind. You are worthy of love and success. Okay? Beautiful. Beautiful. What else do they need to hear? We have forgive others. It says, forgiveness is a powerful tool for healing. Release any resentment or grudges you may be holding and allow forgiveness to bring you peace and freedom. So forgive this weirdo, okay? And all the other weirdos that were on the bandwagon with the weirdness, okay? Forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. They don't. They're just being, they're just vessels being used by the devil, okay? All right. We have be inspired. It says the angels are sending you messages. They speak to you in whispers of inspiration and guidance, filling your heart with divine wisdom. So yeah, 
you are going to be receiving some sort of message here soon. So pay attention. You're about to get the next instructions that you need. Okay. You're being asked to be with spirit and to go within at this time. It says connect with the angels through prayer or meditation. It says create a sacred space to invite their presence and listen to their gentle whispers of love and guidance. This is what you're being asked to do right now. Okay. Cause there's a lot of chaos going on in the background when it comes to your guys' energy. But just know that you're just focus on you. Focus on what you got going on. Okay, this is just a little update to let you know what the heck is going on around you. What else do you need to hear? It says clairvoyance. It says, I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. That's what could be going on. We got passion here. It says, trust and follow you, re your renewed passion in your love life and your career. So there's going to be some sort of renewal happening in those two areas of your life. And then we have brilliant idea. It says, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. Follow your dreams. Go after your dreams. Right now is the right time. Okay, make your dreams come true. This is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Till next time, I love you. Okay, bye.